Hello and welcome back to JCTV. You're watching Bus Simulator 18, played on the Xbox One console. This is episode number four in this installment. Um, what we're going to be doing today, folks, is we're going to be working our way through this task list to try and complete this set of quests, I guess, or tasks. Um, I think we have to create... Uh, a new route. I think I want to buy uh, a new bus and maybe hire another driver. Um, I think that's part of the tasks as well to generate income on two routes with two drivers. So we're going to be hiring a new guy. Um, kind of got my eye on that Elvis guy that we seen the other day from episode number two. Um, yeah, so sit back, relax, uh, let's wait for the game to load and then we will get started. And while we're waiting for the game to load, folks, why don't you hit that subscribe button for me, like and share this video, and click that notification button, that little bell in the bottom corner, so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. We are trying to do bus simulator videos daily, as well as farming simulator episodes, um, which are based uh, weekly, Monday to Friday, with uh, Monday being Shima Silvo, Tuesday being Pacific Northwest, Wednesday is Oakfield, Thursday is Stranded on Welker's Farms, and Friday is Farming Legends on the console. This is just about done, so let's get started. The municipality just called. They've approved us recommissioning the northern bus stops. Great work. I'd like to introduce you to Peter Baumann. He's expressed the desire to work with us in the future. Right, um, hello there. I've followed your project closely so far. You see, I'm the spokesperson for the Chamber of Commerce and We'd like to improve the mobility network between our town, the surrounding villages, leisure areas, and the business park for a better quality of life and work. If you could help us with that, we may be able to negotiate with the municipality to open up the agricultural area to the east of town for new routes. Sounds great. I'd suggest starting to create round-trip routes, as they're very effective at transporting a lot of passengers back and forth. Okay, you heard the lady. Uh, we're going to be doing some round-trip routes. I guess everything should be a round-trip route to maximize revenue. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to build this route here. So, we're going to start a new route. We're going to connect the uh, flashing purple dots. Uh, as soon as we figure this out, let's just try this here. All right, so first, yeah, round trip is on. And remember, folks, round trip is called ping pong. Uh, when ping pong is on, that means your bus will plot the same route backwards from where you started. We're going to assign Alexandra um, in the big bus to the existing route, South Spoke to Oak Street. And then uh, we will generate income on that route with her, knocking out half of the next task which is uh, generate income on two routes with two drivers. It's the uh, third one down there right there. You can see that. So now let's uh, go and build this route with the flashing yellow dots. Or flashing purple dots. So I don't know even know why I said yellow. Each route is marked out with different colors so you can tell which one you're, uh, you're looking at. All right, so this would be uh, route number 11, even though we only have the one route, it logs the routes in order that you build them. So we've tried 11 routes so far. All right, so Worker's Alley to the uh, fairgrounds there, Fisher's Grounds, to Sigwald and Lido would be our third stop. And then connecting to the business spokes. So we're gonna go to West Spoke and then East Spoke. And I think that should be good. So we have that route there. So that, that task is now complete. Now we have to drive the route in order to complete that task. Now it is a, uh, this is also going to be a ping pong route. So we will drive it uh, forwards and then reverse again. And then the last task that we will have to do is generate income on two routes with two drivers. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to buy another bus because we have $136,000 and this little bus here is only 120,000. 
Um, in order to complete that task for generating income on two routes, uh, we need another bus and we need another driver. So I think we're going to purchase the, uh, another Sitaro K Mercedes class bus. That leaves us with $16,677. Now we just have to hire a driver to drive this bus. And then uh, we will do that. But first, we need to um, customize the bus. We need it to look like all of our other ones. So we're going to go with the same purple and red paint scheme. Not really sure. Uh, it just looks snazzy. You can see it coming from a mile away. And of course, we need the trademark JCTV bus lines zebra striped buses kind of reminds me of the global gym purple cobras if anyone has seen dodgeball you'll know what i'm talking about all right there's our bus folks now let's hire someone to drive this bus where's that elvis guy let's look at all these other people uh, miriam manuel oh manuel is no longer a novice he's uh an apprentice now but still got no experience uh, melanie polis there's Elvis. Elvis is alive and well and driving the bus. I think we're going to hire Elvis. Just screams. Hire this guy. All right, Elvis Thompson. You're hired. 600 bucks a week. All aboard. All right, so now let's plan a route for Elvis to drive. Because he's got a bus and he's got a job. He just needs somewhere to go. So let's plot a route around here. Just uh, maybe around this first town where uh, we don't have any buses going right now. We'll just serve these uh, five or six stops. Here we go. So now we have the blue route, number 12, it's going to be driven by Elvis. So there's our other route. We've got all the connections. Everything's good. The buses overlap so people can get off one bus and go to another. All right, and here we go. So we're going to take uh, this Mercedes and we're going to assign Elvis to this bus on this route. And there we go. You can see on the right hand side, we now have one driver and one bus attached to this route. Now, all I have to do is drive. Uh, the route that we created uh, up above and that is going to be the workers alley route number 11 what's happening here this is a little tough to navigate uh, if you're anyone from Astragon Entertainment or Still Alive Studios is watching it's a little tough to navigate the uh, trip planner every time you hit the the back button it doesn't go to the current objectives you actually have to exit off this screen go to another screen and then reopen it in order to choose your tasks up and down um, it's a little annoying but uh, hopefully they fix it in the next update along with a few other things but it's uh, good enough to live with for now all right so elvis is attached to that route everything's still the same there we go all right so now we're going to pin this task and we're going to drive this route from start to finish and then back again and we'll be heading into new territory into the uh, workers alley portion of the map a shobo garden or whatever the heck it's called all right that's our bus ping pong is on so we will be returning in the same uh in the same uh route that we took uh, again folks if you're just joining us ping pong means round trip all right, here we go. We are on our way. All right, so standard procedures upon starting your route from the bus depot, our bus garage, we do have to unlock both doors. Uh, there's one, there's two, and then we have to step around to the front to unlock, to open the doors. And then we'll head into the bus and we won't make this mistake again. We'll run right to the back and unlock the back doors so that we don't get a red star when driving with the doors locked. All right, jumping into the cockpit, we will uh, turn on all the lights, hit the ignition. 
And away we go. I still haven't found the horn, by the way. Um, hopefully that comes up. Some I read a post somewhere on the, the Steam community that the, uh, the horn is actually in the action menu. So if we do need that horn again, we'll check the action menu to uh, try and find out if we can uh, locate the horn or not. You can see it, it should actually be located somewhere here on the dashboard or maybe... Uh, common sense dictates it should be in the center of the steering wheel. Again, if anyone from Astragon Entertainment or Still Alive Studios are watching, there's the horn in the middle of the steering wheel. Why isn't it there on the console? So, all the standard buttons here on your right, the ramp, the uh, engine toggle, blah, 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 the ticket machine. All right. Let's kick this into gear. Let's go. Drive is clicked. Doors are closed. And the bus is not moving. Did the ignition turn itself off? Drive is clicked. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Power. All right, and we're heading out of the garage. All right, so this is the garage in Workers Alley. This is where we're starting. So this is a, a sort of a new town for us. We've never been here before. JCTV bus lines expanding now to the third city in Bus Simulator 18, Shobo Gardens. Oh, traffic lights. This will be new. This is where the red light jumper ticket or red star comes in handy. Traffic parked on both sides of the street. This is uh, pretty narrow. We had a long ways to go before our, uh, our first scheduled stop. Hmm. Maybe this was uh, poor planning uh, on my part, but you know, at the beginning of the route, they don't actually tell you where the bus garage is located, so you can plan your first stop close to the to the uh, bus garage that's maybe another suggestion Astragon Entertainment or Still Alive Studios can take into account that you should display the bus garage in each city so that when you leave the bus garage you can plan your first stop closest to the bus garage so you don't have to drive through the entire town in order to get there but I digress let's move along through this uh, very nice old looking town some nice buildings on the left and the right uh, it's very, very detailed. Uh, I'll say it again, I do like playing this game. This is uh, fantastically laid out. I can't wait till uh, we uh, finish some more tasks and maybe we'll do an episode in uh, free roam mode where we just drive around all crazy-like and pick up random people in random stops. <laughs> we might even do a multiplayer episode. There is a multiplayer option. I wonder what that is. Maybe you have different people driving different buses or different routes maybe you can hire other uh, players as your employees who knows we'll have to check that out there's still a lot of aspects of this game that we've yet to discover so right now we're just uh, doing company mode and we're expanding our company little by little day by day bringing mass public transit to the general public oh oh distracting still a ways to go before that first stop very very nicely uh, detailed town looks like construction on the uh, left that building is being fixed a lot of uh, narrow narrow streets here in this small town with planters trees taking up the uh, bike lane looks like you know you poor bike riders Actually, it's a uh, parking lane, so, okay. We're almost to the first stop. Looks like another right turn coming up, then a left. And then we will be able to pick up our first set of passengers in this new town. I totally forgot to check. Something coming from the left, and we're back in traffic. There is a lot of traffic in this town. I don't know if it's the time of day. There is no clock. It would be nice if there was a clock in the uh, upper right hand corner or the left or in the center of the screen indicating the time of day so far we've kept the uh, the weather and the day on random 
and it's been nothing but sunny and uh, warm except for the one episode where it was raining. But uh, for the most part, the weather's been pretty good. Easy bus driving weather. I'm going to hop into the left-hand turning lane here. All right, uh, there's no traffic lights here, so we're just going to go. There's nothing coming at us. It's all right. On our way to the very first stop in this uh, new town. Stuck at a red light. <laughs> All right, first stop coming up on our right Workers Alley. It's green light. Don't know why that guy's sitting still. Just guessing where to stop the bus. <laughs> oh, good stopping position. You are blocking the door. May I have a ticket, please? There's your ticket. Eighteen dollars and change. A door seems to be blocked. <laughs> well, we have to go remove someone from the door. Do you, you believe this? Lady, you're standing in the way. The doors cannot close. Why are you not sitting down? This is a bus. Take a seat. Thank you. Jeez. Some people, you can't fix stupid. Anyways, let's try not to get into a uh, bad mood like last episode. Uh, if you watched last episode, we almost got into a uh, road rage fight with a guy who would not move his car because we could not find the horn. I ended up uh, having to have a cigarette mid-episode because I was so out of control. Hopefully this goes a little bit better. Oh, very nice. Turning medians, all right. <laughs> this is a very nice town. Lots of people. Look at all the apartment buildings. Somebody wants off at this stop. Next stop, Fisher's Grounds. Fisher's Grounds. Hello, fishermen people. Step aboard. One ticket, please. I think maybe one episode will turn the cashier off so we don't have to sell tickets, but I don't know. I like the realism of it. Um, there is a setting in the settings menu in the route planning okay. screen where you can turn the cashier off where you don't have to sell tickets to the public when you're driving the bus, but I don't know. It might make things go a little bit quicker, but it's the realism of it all because, you know, people need tickets. So I think maybe we'll just keep it on. Who knows? We'll try it without it. I want to do an episode in uh, third person view too. Maybe it's uh, a little bit harder to drive the bus in third person. <laughs> but for now, we'll stick with first person view. I kind of like this. All right, making a turn. Here we go on our way to Sigwalden Lido. Oh, thank God I managed to catch the bus. Well, wait. Is this even the right bus? That <laughs> guy doesn't even know what bus he's on. You're in for a surprise, sir. <laughs> oh, potholes. <laughs> I gotta remember to watch out for those and try and slow down. I want to try and get uh, a five-star trip rating. So far, I've gotten uh, the highest I've got is four and a half. Because I keep hitting potholes and speed bumps and curbs. It's hard to see if that's a pothole or a puddle coming up. It's hard to slow down as soon as you see them. They kind of sneak up on you. Oh, perfect. 
there's someone parked in our bus spot and as you can see the uh, from past experiences the horn is not located anywhere here uh, let's try and uh, what button brings up the action menu there it is uh, let's look around here maybe it's in the uh, console menu hey horn here we go get out of my way it works green star I'm an angry horn honker we found the horn folks it's in the action menu but it should be on the dashboard or the steering wheel I can't imagine in real life someone pulling out their phone to go into the settings to honk the horn on an actual bus it's got to be on the steering wheel you should see the guy's hand come and pound on the horn too all right enough about the horn we found it we'll let it go several tickets, please. several tickets sure be more than happy to sell you three tickets for one person have a nice day ma'am all right let's continue on our journey we're gonna uh, left turn signal out of here I always say it folks I'll say it again turn signals are common courtesy make sure you use them in real life and in virtual games as well just lets people know where you're going there's another pothole while I was talking Jeez, I just can't seem to get a hold of that maybe we'll just swerve out of the way into oncoming traffic we'll see what happens we'll just roll the dice a little bit all right coming over to the roundabout nothing's coming we should be good someone is listening to really loud music well you're gonna have to wait a second sir I will yell at you in a minute we cannot stop on the roundabout maybe right here on the off-ramp we'll stop right here and we'll give you a talking to you probably have headphones yet the music is not coming out of your headphones it's blasting through my bus we'll also take this time to check everyone's ticket as well hey turn your music down don't be a jerk oh, I'm sorry yeah that's right where is it ah, here you go. all right valid ticket valid ticket here here you go what about you sir here's mr. music ticket. man and here's a picture of my cat I don't Just care about your cat here you go hold on um, here here you thank you of course of course you have a ticket all right no fair Dodgers today let's continue on our way right left turn into the uh, business spoke area I can remember never remember the name of this town we're just gonna call it the first town that we started in business spokes coming up and then that will mark I think we have two stops in the spokes and then we will uh, ping pong or round trip this route back to workers alley and then this portion will be finished we're just about halfway halfway to being completed on this drive the route task all right hit that button by mistake didn't mean to bring up the action menu we will just fly through this suggested stop I haven't gotten to an accident yet on one of these four-way stops it's probably coming though because you know I don't take the suggestions kindly All right, West Spoke, nice to see you. Hopefully you're uh, in the market for a round trip back to Workers Alley or Sigwald and Lido. That's where we're headed. Thank you. You're welcome. Two tickets for you, sir. Please take your change. All right, we'll left turn signal out of here and proceed to the next stop, which is East Spoke. 
and that will be the last stop on this half of the trip. And then we will ping pong our way back to Workers Alley. Hello, Eastern folks, folks of the spokes. <laughs> Come on in. Welcome to JCTV Bus Lines, serving the general public since about five days ago. Here's your ticket, sir. Please go and sit down. Have a nice day. And now we're going back to West Spoke. And make a little turn and come back. And now we are starting our return trip back to Workers Alley. Do -do 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 -do. Right turn into the spoke. We are certainly making good time. I don't think we've been behind schedule. Low speed bump coming up. Slow down. So far, I've got this nailed down to about 20 kilometers an hour is the speed that uh, you won't get dinged for going over the speed bumps. So if you're going over 20, I think, you get a red star for hitting the speed bump too fast, which takes half a star away from your trip. I'm pretty sure it's 20. And it's safe to go over at about 20 or less anymore and you run the risk of uh, damaging the undercarriage of your bus thus increasing your maintenance costs at the end of the trip and losing money so let's just play it safe we gotta get this pothole thing under control too I hit every oh single gosh. pothole what is that sound? does anyone else hear that? And this guy's hearing things oh no he's not he's alerting me to someone playing loud music buddy you're disturbing other passengers Let's stop. Hey, and get this did under you see control. The latest episode of Winter of Passion? Yes, of course. I would never have thought Hans would do that. None of these guys. Who is it? Oh, sorry. I'll yeah. turn it down. Of course. Who was it that Here complained? Well, give me your ticket. Here you go. I already showed you my ticket. No, oh, I wanted to see it again. Sure. I'm the bus driver. I can do whatever I want. Sure. If I want to see your ticket every five minutes, I'll request it every five minutes. How often do you want to see it? As often as I Hold want. Lose the attitude, buddy. Here. You can walk, you know. Sure. Jeez. The nerve of some people. Of course. Here you go. Thanks. I already showed it. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing it to me again. Maybe I'll ask again in a couple of feet. Who knows? I have control of the bus, so you will listen to everything I have to say. Sorry, North Spoke. Didn't plan that stop on my route. All right, another left turn coming up back to West Spoke. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a game. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you're in a game. That's rich, sir. That's rich. good service. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. That's a wonderful Bye -bye. compliment. I need several tickets, please. Several tickets. Thank you. One ticket. You're welcome. Enjoy your ride. Please find your seat safely. Do not block the doors or play loud music or leave garbage behind. 
That'll just make me angry. All right, back across the highway, over the roundabout, and back to Sigwald and Lido. Hey, you, on the right, you should be taking the bus. Somebody would like to depart the bus at Sigwald and Lido. I can oblige because we're stopping there. Oh, Astor Park is closed for now. According to that sign, we just have to unlock it, I'm guessing. Pothole and I missed it. Aha. Was that the, the, a ghost? Was that a ghost? Sorry, sir. Elvis is driving the other bus. You're mistaken. Oh, fourteen hundred dollars in damage. I think I hit the curb. They're not really saying what I hit or what I didn't hit. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, next stop, Sigwald and Lido, coming up. Oh, veering off to the right there. 60 kilometers an hour. Not sure if I wouldn't be faster by bike. Well, you know what, sir? You can uh, ride your bike next time, how's that? Maybe, uh, give me a call when you get your bike, and we'll race. We'll see what's faster. Jerk, the bus is obviously faster. Crazy people. Sure. I'd love to sell you a ticket. Thanks. I need a ticket. Oh, too much change. Spiraling out of control already. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. All right, left turn signal out of here. That car on the left will yield. Perfect. Oh, no. There we go. He went. Now we're going to go. I think we're actually supposed to trigger the parking brake every time we stop the bus, but we uh, we don't do that. Maybe I have to do that to achieve... Oh, swerve. Pothole. Missed it. Maybe I have to uh, hit the parking brake every time I stop the bus to get that five-star rating. We'll have to test that out. Maybe that's why I'm not getting the five stars. Or maybe it's because I keep hitting things. Who knows? We will see, I guess. Maybe next trip I'll remember to turn the parking brake on and off. Swerve pothole. Aha, uh -huh, getting better. <laughs> Alright, coming up to Fisher's Grounds. Almost back to where we started. right turn coming up I've been doing good so far haven't hit anything on my right turns Fisher's Grounds. Nobody getting on. Somebody wants off. Alright, please exit my bus. Oh my gosh, what's that sound? Does anyone else hear that? Somebody else is playing loud music? Jeez. What is it with you people? Hey, you! My bad. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, I might as well pick up the garbage while I'm here. 
My bad, I'll turn it down. That's what I thought. You can walk next time. How dare you disturb my passengers. The workers alley. Alley. Just cross the road. This is the last stop on our round trip, folks. Um, I don't think we're going to be driving back to the garage on this one. I think we'll just end the trip here at Workers Alley. Uh, where is this turn coming up? Workers Alley is the uh, wide street for some reason. I feel like I'm in a game. No, you feel like you're in a game. That's too bad. Oh, I hit the curb. That's what I call good service. Alright. Aside from a few unruly passengers, that's what I call a good bus trip. And of course, more garbage. Alright, let's go pick up some garbage and then we'll end this trip. And we will check out how we did. Is there any more? Oh yeah, there's more. Nobody wants to leave wallets or iPods or iPhones or anything. Fine. Just leave garbage. Alright, close the doors. And we'll end the trip. You can do that right from the action menu by choosing End Trip. Perfect. How'd we do? $23,000. Not bad for a round trip. Four and a half stars. Four and a quarter stars. And we've unlocked some new things, some new decals and a new color. And we leveled up. Perfect. That is excellent. All right. Well, I think we will uh, end it there, folks. Thanks for tuning in to episode number four of Bus Simulator 18. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and click that notification button so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. You don't want to miss anything. There's exciting things coming up, folks. For now, this is JCTV Bus Lines saying see you later.